Привет, я Максим Михайлов. In one of the first episodes of Surf Explained, we had a look at the surf of the great Russian opposite spiker Maxim Mikhailov. You can watch it following the link in the info box or in the description below. Now it's time to examine another important component of the skills of Maxim Mikhailov. His attack. What are the specifics of the spiking of the Russian player? When Mikhailov attacks from position 1, after a good or perfect reception or after a perfectly organized free ball, he spikes mostly diagonal. The block should leave the line free and should not fly because in this case there will be a seam which could be exploited by the Russian. If the end blocker leaves very small space between him and the antenna, it's possible that the middle blocker won't be able to reach and close the block. Against a single block, Mikhailov uses the empty space and often spikes along the line. When the Russian attacks from position 1, after a reception around the 3rd meter, he spikes diagonal, but also much more line than after a good reception. The block has the option to close more line, and even the whole line, like in this successful case against a single block. In this situation the set is short, and maybe the block left too much line, even though the Libero succeeded in defending the ball. In a case of an attack from position 2 after a good reception, the situation is very similar to the one from position 1 with the same type of reception. Mikhailov spikes diagonal and the block should not fly due to the seam that will be used by the opposite right away. If the block leaves more line, the Russian attacks there, so the Liberal should always be ready to defend. When Mikhail spikes from position 2 after reception at the third meter and the ball is close to the antenna, the block can close the line and the short diagonals can be defended by the players in back row. When the Russian attacks from position 4, he spikes more diagonal but also line. The block shall leave a bit of line but surely not too much because with more space along the line, Mikhail would use the free direction between position 1 and position 6 which is unprotected. On a high ball, the block share traditionally jump in front of the ball and if the ball is close to the antenna, the line shall be closed, otherwise Mikhailov can find the empty space there. Additionally, in these situations the defenders shall be careful for tips, especially the defender behind the block. In this specific case, the defender in position 5 is way back and is not able to dig the ball. Eventually, let's have a look at the specific situation with a ball set short when Mikhailov is in front row. In this case, the block shall be placed opposite the Russian and the ball, and again the blockers and the defenders behind them shall always be ready to take tips. If you like this type of analysis, you can also watch the videos about the attack of Matt Anderson, Bartosz Kurek, Lukas Saadkamp and Osmani Hontorena, following the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching! Please subscribe to the channel and if you are a fan of our content you can also support us in Patreon. Until the next time, bye bye.